Okay, very good. So let's begin in Tadasana Mountain Pose. You can practice this standing or seated in a chair. Lift and lengthen through the crown of the head. Bring awareness to your feet connected to the earth. See if you can relax your belly as you're breathing and also relax um, the chest area. So you can have a full breath moving the diaphragm. The belly moves in and out, it expands up into the chest. Just notice, take some deep full breaths in and out and kind of notice where you experience the breath coming into your body, what you notice as you breathe. And from here, let's practice a few of the Durga Pranayam 2 practices. So we'll inhale up, expand the arms wide. And as you exhale, feel yourself gathering energy and guiding it down through the heart. I'll turn to the side to show you how you can use the chair. So traditional, we surrender, release with the arms to the side. If you're using the chair, you can come back down just as far as is comfortable for your body, using the seat of the chair to support you. Inhaling up. Expand wide. And exhale down. Surrender and release. And the next time that you come up, we'll expand the arms wide and exhale down to the sides. Very nice. So I wanna say a couple of things before we come in um, a little bit more to our practice tonight. Lakshmi will be talking about the three paths of yoga, three approaches to Raja yoga practice, Gyana yoga, Bhakti yoga, and Karma yoga. In our yoga asana practice tonight, the three kernels that we can focus on from these three paths, Gyana yoga, a discrimination, discernment of listening for the truth. Karma yoga, a self-offering to the divine, to your own highest self or to a God creator, whatever that means for you. And karma or bhakti yoga is the offering of the heart. So an opening of the heart and consciously creating space within the heart center. These three aspects of the paths of yoga, let's bring them consciously into our yoga asana practice and see what happens with that for you. So one of the ways to help open the heart center is circle of light, circle of joy. Here we'll inhale, fingers interlace and elbows lift up. Exhale, the hands move out in front. Inhale, lift and lengthen, stretch the spine. As you exhale, the arms come down and you visualize light and joy surrounding you. The hands come behind the back, fingers interlaced, and you open the heart center. Release and exhale, arms float, palms together, hands at the heart. One more time, inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And exhale, light and joy surround you. Fingers interlace, we inhale, open the heart center, release and exhale. Palms together, hands at the heart, very nice. So we'll come uh, into Pada Hastasana, the jackknife pose, and I'll do this from the side using the chair for support for those who need it. So lift and lengthen through the crown of your head, placing your hands on your thighs. Exhale forward. You'll come a quarter to halfway down. Look down towards the floor, pressing on the thighs, reach through the tailbone and the crown of your head. It's a nice stretch for the back of the legs that extends through the spine. Deep, full breaths in and out. As we practice our affirmations this evening, See if you can sense or perceive the truth within them. Each of these affirmations reflects an inner reality of truth. From here, we'll move into relaxation phase. You can place your hands on the chair and you could even have your forearms and release the head or you can slide the arms down, release the head and neck. The hands can hang with 
holding the upper arms. If your hands reach the floor, you could place the fingertips under the toes or the index fingers wrapped around the large toe. Relax the whole body. The affirmation for this pose is nothing on earth can hold me. With each breath mentally affirming a quality of inner freedom that no outside event or circumstance can burden or weigh you down, hold you back. Nothing on earth can hold me. Tuning into the reality of inner soul freedom, nothing on earth can hold me. We'll bend the knees and tuck chin to chest and inhale, bring yourself up, reach the arms all the way up. Let's stretch tall and exhale, arms down to the side. Relax the body as you stand in Tadasana, standing mountain pose just for a moment. Nothing on earth can hold me. Very nice. So in our Raja Yoga um, book, some of the asanas that were shared, the first one was tree pose, trikonasana. So I'll show you trikonasana with the chair. And we're first going to begin by standing on, uh, on the left leg and we'll bring the, um, the right leg to the side. So the right leg will be to the side and the ball of the foot can be on the floor. It could be on the calf or you could bring that up to the thigh. If you're using a chair, you can use the seat of a chair or place a blanket or pillow for the knee to rest on. And the hands are here at the heart. Or you can inhale them out to the side. Palms together, lengthen the spine and bring the hands down like a diamond shape above you. The gaze of the eyes is lifted. The breath is relaxed. The qualities of tree pose are calmness and poise, guiding the energy to rise, helping to center our awareness deep within our soul nature. The affirmation is I am calm, I am poised. I am calm, I am poised. I like to imagine myself walking through a forest, remembering the calmness and peace that the forest offers. If you've ever had that opportunity, see if you can recall that now and bring that back to your awareness. I am calm, I am poised. Listening for that truth. I am calm. I am poised. We'll inhale up. Exhale. Arms down. Pause for a moment in Tadasana. Let your body adjust to the practice. See if you feel a difference on either side. I am calm. I am poised. Very nice, we'll go to the other side. So now we'll stand on the right leg. If you're using the chair, find the position that allows you to come into the pose, to feel stable in your stance. Hands can be here at the heart, or you can inhale them up. They can go out to the side, or you can lift them above you. So that's another way to bring the hands up. So Guiana Yoga, we're tuning in and listening for the truth. Bhakti is devotional, right? We're welcoming the qualities, these divine soul qualities of calmness and peace. I am calm, I am poised. In the teaching of yoga, our soul nature reflects these qualities perfectly. And the practice helps us open the doorway to access them. 
using the mind to imagine, even if you can't feel it, a place within you perfectly calm and poised. I am calm. I am poised, untouched by outer circumstance. I am calm. I am poised. Inhale up and exhale, arms down. Come back to Tadasana and pause for a moment. Very nice. Our next asana that was in the chapter is trikonasana. And again, there's a way to practice this <clears throat> with the chair. So I'll offer that for you. We're going to stand in a nice wide stance and we'll turn the left foot out. So you want to have the chair, I'm going to bring this one a little closer. You want to have the chair where you feel like you'll be able to reach it if you're using it. If you're not using the chair, your hand will be on your leg. So nice wide stance, turn the left foot out. You can bend your knee a little bit just to try and get, align your hips. And then bring the torso back towards the front. We'll inhale, arms up, palms together, lift and lengthen, and then turn the hands towards the front. Exhale, arms down to shoulder height. With your left arm, reach up as you tilt your hip. And just keep reaching with your hand above the head and your legs will bring you to a stop, right? Then bring that hand down either on the leg or on the chair. Lift the arm up above you. And if you'd like, you can rotate your head to look up to the sky. <clears throat> The right arm that's lifted could come down to rest on your hip if it's difficult to have this arm above you. Breathing deeply. The affirmation for this pose is energy and joy flood my body cells. See if you can imagine that. A waterfall of energy and joy flooding every cell of your body. Joy descends to me. Energy and joy flood my body cells. Joy descends to me. Deep full breaths in and out. Very nice. To come out of the pose, we inhale, bring the arms to shoulder height, turn both the feet in and exhale, arms down, and pause for a moment in a wide stance. Relaxing the body, especially the belly as you breathe. Lifting and lengthening energetically through the crown of the head. Mentally affirming energy and joy flood my body cells. Joy descends to me. Very nice, we'll go to the other side. So now we're gonna turn the right foot out. Again, you can bend your knee a little bit to kind of bring the, the hips in alignment. The torso comes back to front. Uh, another thing to line up here is the instep of the right foot with the left foot. So the heel of the right foot with the instep of the left. Inhale, arms up, palms together, lift and lengthen. Turn the hands towards the front and exhale, arms down to shoulder height. Now tilt and reach this time with the right arm. And you just take your time reaching until the legs basically stop you, the body will stop you. Bring that hand down, either to the chair or to your leg. And then rotate to look up to the sky, breathing deeply, mentally affirming. Energy and joy flood my body cells. Joy descends to me. Imagine yourself welcoming this flood of energy and joy and as you receive it, consciously sending it back out to the universe, to the world, to all. A self-offering, karma yoga, that the blessings of your practice 
be a blessing for everyone. The energy that you receive flows into you and through you. Energy and joy flood my body cells. Joy descends to me. When you're ready to come up, you'll inhale up, bring the arms back to shoulder height, turn the feet in, exhale, arms down, and pause for a moment. Relax the body, relax the breath. If you sense energy rising, guide the energy here to the point between the eyebrows. Mentally affirming energy and joy flood my body cells. Joy descends to me. Very nice. We'll come into another forward bend, a wide stance bend, since we're already in a wide stance. <clears throat> I have the chair in front of me, which you can utilize if you like. So lift and lengthen again, hands on the thighs to support the back. We'll come into um, about a quarter to halfway down, similar to what we did with Padahastasana, the jackknife pose. And because we've already come into a forward bend, you may not need to hang out in the first part of it very long. You decide. When you're ready to move into relaxation, if you're using the chair, you can bring your hands out and drop the head. And just relax the body, relax the spine. Without the chair, the hands slide down the legs or come in front. The head and neck release. The hands are holding the upper arms. Deep, full breaths in and out. This posture helps to calm the nervous system and especially the mental agitation of the mind. Very calming for the mind. The affirmation is I relax and cast aside all mental burdens. With each breath, feel yourself claiming this soul power, this inner capacity to choose where to direct our thoughts. It comes from practice, so without any judgment, simply affirming this is a capacity of the soul within each one of us that can be cultivated. I relax and cast aside all mental burdens. Then we'll bend the knees and tuck chin to chest. Inhale, bring ourselves back up. Walk the feet in. Bring ourselves back to Tadasana, standing mountain pose. I relax and cast aside all mental burdens. Very nice. From here, we'll come onto our, hand, our knees, first hands and knees, but I wanna show you, if it's difficult for you to come down to the floor, we're going to practice Ustrasana, which can be done in a chair. So if I'm practicing in a chair, when we come, when we're kneeling in Vajrasana, you would sit like this. For Ustrasana, the hands would be either here or all the way back, and you're lifting this way and then coming back and resting the hands on the thighs. For the practice of cat-cow that we'll do, you can stand at the back of your chair and alternate moving the spine in this way. So if it's okay for you to come to the floor, hands and knees, you could sit on a bolster or blanket for support, hands on the thighs. This is Vajrasana, the firm pose. We'll come back to this one in a moment. We're going to rise up on the knees for Ustrasana Camel Pose. We'll place the hands on the buttocks on the pelvic rim. We'll draw the elbows towards each other, glide the hips forward as we offer ourselves backward. Come back just as far as is comfortable for your spine. You can keep your hands on the pelvic rim the whole time, lifting from the heart center to the sky Feel yourself consciously opening the body, the heart, and mind to receive divine energy, divine healing light,
divine grace. You can keep your hands, as I said, on the buttocks the whole time or bring them down towards the feet if that's comfortable for your body. If you haven't practiced warm-ups before class tonight, I would keep the hands on the buttocks just to protect the body from overdoing unless this feels comfortable for you. The affirmation is, with calm faith, I open to thy light. With calm faith, I open to thy light. Feel yourself opening, receiving, welcoming divine healing light. With calm faith I open to thy light. To come out of the pose, we'll inhale up, exhale, bring the buttocks down to the heels, resting the hands on the thighs. Lifting the inward gaze up toward the point between the eyebrows. See if you can feel energy rising. Ustrasana, very powerful. Asana for opening the heart center. Vajrasana helps to guide the awakened energy deeply within. Helping us to connect with inner stillness and strength. In stillness, I touch my inner strength. In stillness, I touch my inner strength. Vajrasana, the firm pose. From here, we'll come into Balasana. This can be done in a chair or as if, if you're kneeling on the floor. Inhale, in either case, we lift and lengthen and exhale forward and release down. Releasing the head towards the floor. If you're in a chair, just release over the legs. Feel yourself with each breath, relaxing the body more fully and completely. The child's pose helps us to find that inner realm of peace. With each breath, feel yourself releasing the outer world and finding your way back to the inner the affirmation is, I relax from outer involvement into my inner haven of peace. I relax from outer involvement into my inner haven of peace. We'll inhale up, bring ourselves back to Vajrasana. From here, we'll come into Downward Facing Dog. So your hands can be on the floor for this, or you can use the seat of a chair. 
the toes are turned under. <clears throat> we lift, inhale, lift the buttocks up. Bring the legs into position. Release the head so that the ears are in alignment with the upper arms. Breathing deeply. Shift the weight of your body so that the legs are supporting you as much as the arms. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Calmness radiates from every fiber of my being. Feel yourself sending waves of calmness as a blessing and a gift for all. Calmness radiates from every fiber of my being. Bringing the knees down, coming first to Vajrasana and then onto our backs with knees bent and feet on the floor, the arms out to the side. We'll inhale, exhale the knees towards the right. If you are comfortable lifting and turning the head to look over the left shoulder, you can do that. Jatara Parivartanasana, the supine twist. The affirmation is I opened the flow of God's life within me. With each breath, feel yourself welcoming this divine flow of energy and grace. I opened the flow of God's life within me. Inhale, knees back to center. Press down on the feet, lift the hips and buttocks. Bring the spine back to neutral. And then as you exhale, release the knees now towards the left. Adjusting yourself to come into the spinal twist on this side. Supine twist. I open to the flow of God's life within me. With each breath, affirming this divine truth of your own soul nature, the bhakti practice of opening, welcoming, receiving. Karma yoga, self-offering. I open to the flow of God's life within me. Inhale, bring the knees back to center. <clears throat> we'll take just a moment to rest in Shavasana. The legs can be extended, or if you have a chair nearby and it's comfortable for you, you can rest your legs on the chair. A moment of silence now.
and drawing the knees towards the chest. You can rock up and back a little bit, gently side to side. Roll to your right side. Use the left arm to support you. Bringing yourself into a comfortable seat for our meditation practice now. <laughs> 